Hey everybody, how's it going? You might think, well, she's really in the thick of it today, but we found a good patch of um, fireweed here. Now, um, we're a little late in the season where we're at, um, and I'll explain why. <coughs> the cool thing about fireweed is she allows you to, like, count down your season. So, you see this plant right here? She started blooming down here. And over the summer, she worked her way up to the very top of the plant. And these are the last blooms of the season. And um, as a lot of wise women and men go, uh, say in folklore is, um, once she gets to the top, summer is over. And here um, in Northeast Oregon, on the very top of the Blue Mountain Range, we definitely are moving into fall. Even though, um, oh, nose itching like crazy, even though um, it is only the beginning of August. Um, so, but she makes really good medicine and because she blooms all like from spring all the way into fall, she's one of those medicines that are kind of available for you to get out here and find. Um, and so if he gets real close on that one right by him, right down below you, there you go, you can kind of see how her structure grows. Now, the cool thing is that she's been used for a long time as a food. She used to be, um, they call it a, a pot herb, like any type of thing that you would just throw into a pot and cook. Um, you can dig up her, her tender young roots. Um, you can use her leaves. You can definitely eat her blooms, and people to this day are definitely making um, fireweed jelly. Um, I like to make either an infused oil um, because she's amazing for skin ailments, especially if it's got some inflammatory issues going on, um, but also um, as a tincture. She's pretty awesome um, for being an, an, an anti-inflammatory internally. She's great for prostate problems, you know, pulling that swelling down. But she's also good at like really calming our gut down. Uh, meaning she kind of gets in there and just kind of like smooths everything out. So if you're crazy constipated or just have like stomach issues all the time, a fireweed tincture or fireweed jelly, um, you know, fireweed tea is going to be great for that. Um, so this ally likes to grow in colder type, type climates. She's most famous in Alaska, but believe me when I say she's pretty much in every northern state of the United States and she'll definitely be all over Canada. Um, I'm not sure if she grows further down south. I've never seen there, her there, but definitely just get curious about her and start, you know, does fireweed grow in my state on Google and you can find out. Um, and so she's just, just a really, really amazing ally. Um, in the spring, again, like I said, her roots are really good, but her little shoots that first come out because she grows back every year um, are delicious. They are really good eating. So anyhow, this is fireweed, and I think that you're definitely smart enough to get out here and find her. She's a pretty commonly known plant, um, and she gets tall, as you can see, although I am pretty short. <laughs> and, and, a little divot in here but anyhow if you like my videos make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications because that helps you see when I post the safe simple plant medicine information and it helps other people find me and then like and comment so I know uh, that you're here with me um, and that helps other people find me again it helps YouTube say wow people are liking and commenting so her videos must be must be worthwhile to suggest to other people and I really love engagement and that fireweeds dancing in front of the <laughs> the camera there um, so talk to me I talk back I'll answer you also um, come find me on Instagram and just come engage with me um, check out all the links in my bio here because you are definitely smart enough to get out here and meet these plants and they are just waiting for you to remember them they've never gone anywhere they're right here just waiting okay so I will see you next time all right bye